Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to do a COVID-19 lateral flow test. So the reason I'm doing this is because firstly it's really important and secondly you may have to do one of these as well. So I work at a COVID vaccination hub and before the shift we've got to do one of these to make sure that we're negative so we're not passing on the virus. And you may have to do this before your work as well. And the government actually announced this week that they're going to be making these available to people at home so I thought this would be a really good tutorial video for you. So spoiler alert, it is kind of gross. But it's also necessary if we're ever to get out of this COVID mess safely. And if you're going to do it, then make sure you do it properly. I've definitely seen people who are trying to do the test and they don't put the swab far enough into the nose. And that's going to make us think that you don't have COVID when actually you could be positive and spreading the virus, which isn't safe. Also, a quick thing to bear in mind, the COVID lateral flow tests are meant to be done if you're asymptomatic, so you don't have a cough, fever, or a loss of sense of smell. If you do have symptoms, then you're meant to get a COVID PCR test. You can get one of those done through the government website and I'll leave a link below. And also you can do that by calling 119 if you're in the UK. So one of the most common questions about the lateral flow tests is how accurate are they? Now, there's different ways of looking at the accuracy of tests. There's two terms in particular that we're really interested about and those are sensitivity and specificity. So the important thing to remember is that no test is 100% accurate, but we use the sensitivity and specificity to give us a better idea of how accurate they are. So the main lateral flow tests that are done in this country are by a company called Innova. And there have been a number of studies that are looking into the accuracy of these tests. And I'll talk through a couple of these right now. Innova's own evaluation of the lateral flow test done in November 2020 showed that they have a specificity of 99.68%. It also showed that it had an overall sensitivity of 76.8%. But that number climbs to 95% in people with a high viral load. That means they've got a lot of COVID circulating in their nasal passages. Their evaluation also found that there wasn't much of a difference when picking up the viral load in patients that were symptomatic and asymptomatic. So the sensitivity essentially means how accurate is this test at showing that a patient does have COVID when they actually do, and that's what we call the true positives, and the specificity shows how accurate is this test at saying this patient does not have COVID when they actually don't, and we call that the true negative. Again, to recap, sensitivity means the proportion of people who actually do have COVID and have a positive test, whereas specificity means the proportion of people who don't have COVID and have a negative test. So, another study done by the government, link below, shows that the test actually has a specificity of 99.9%, .9%, so that's really high. So that means that people who don't have COVID will have a negative test. That also means that fewer than one in a thousand will have a false positive. Okay, so now that we're done with the accuracy of the tests, let's show you how to do them. So to recap, the tests are not perfect, but it's a useful screening tool for people who are asymptomatic. But if you have symptoms, make sure that you do get a PCR test. And again, link below, or you can call 119 from the UK. So this is the COVID-19 testing pack. Yours may look slightly different if it's from a different brand, but they should all contain these four things. That's a sampling swab, an extraction solution, a dropper bottle, and the testing cartridge. Make sure you've washed your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds with warm water and soap, and then take out the swab, making sure you don't touch the soft end of the tip. Make sure you get your other kit together. That's the extraction solution and the testing cartridge and put those onto a clean, flat table. You can take off the lid of the extraction solution and put six drops into the little bottle and make sure you keep that upright. Insert the swab into the back of your mouth, touching the area where the tonsils are. If you don't have tonsils, this can be where the tonsils used to be. 
Rotate this four times on each side. Insert the swab into your nostril and rotate into 10 full circles on each side of the nostril. This does feel a bit uncomfortable. Don't worry if it does make you feel a bit funny. <coughs> Put the swab into the dispensing bottle and rotate for 10 seconds, making sure that you're pushing hard against the solution and against the sides of the container as well. Once you've done that, take the swab out of the container, squeezing the bottle to make sure that the extraction solution is left inside and dispose of the swab. Make sure you close the lid nice and tight and get ready to put two drops onto the testing cartridge. The results will take 30 minutes, so set yourself a timer as it won't be able to be read until the full 30 minutes have been completed. Okay, so this is what the test cartridge will look like as it's being processed. And this is what it will look like, hopefully after the 30 minutes. This is a negative test. And as you can see, there's a single line where the C is, C stands for control. This is what a positive test would look like. There would be two lines, one where control is and one where the test is. If you have this, this indicates that you do have coronavirus. If you do have a positive test, it's important that you follow the coronavirus isolation protocols and also get a PCR test to confirm the diagnosis. If you just have a single line where the test is, but control is blank, this indicates that the test is invalid. This means that you'd need to repeat the test. So that was my video on the COVID-19 lateral flow test and how to do them. Remember, there's more information and more specific instructions inside the pack, so make sure you have a read of those before doing the test. I hope you found that video really useful, and let me know how you got on with the test yourselves. If you found it a bit gross or a bit uncomfortable, that's completely normal. I'll be posting more stuff about COVID vaccinations in the next video. If you want to see more, then make sure you hit like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Oh.